Hello! Happy Friday, everybody! I'm Gail Craighead, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator in the U.S., here with you today. Uh, I hope everybody had a great week. At week. Um, I got to cash in my flex points as a demonstrator. You earn flex points for... Um, for your sales and things that you buy and, and that kind of thing. Um, and if you have somebody that joins your team and that kind of thing. Anyway, um, they're doing away with those. They're um, changing their incentive program. They, Stampin' Up! is um, changing their incentive program. And um, I get confused easy. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But I had to use up all of my flex points by the end of this month. And um, I wanted to get the prize peony, 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 sweet. I should have, I should have gotten it here. As soon as the catalog came out this year, I was like, oh, I really want this. And I prefer to get the entire suite because every time I don't, I regret it. Even if I just buy the DSP because I love the DSP, I, um, I regret not getting the entire suite. So, oh, here it is. Peony Garden. I know this is backwards, but anyway, it's, um, $97.50 for the whole shebang which is um, the stamp set and the dies and the bling and there's um, um, Gollum doilies. Anyway, it wasn't in my budget, but I cashed in my um, flex points and I got the whole, the whole thing and I'm I've been playing with it for several days now, and I just, I love it. Uh, next video is going to be all about this peony suite. Um, I just love it. And I was almost late today because I was playing with this all morning. And then I had to run take a shower, and then my hair didn't want to cooperate. And, uh, anyway. I tell you, I love this sweet. Um, so that's that's next week's video. I will be in Florida next week visiting um, my family, my granddaughters and daughter-in-law, and my son and my. <sighs> my adult granddaughter and her three little ones, which makes me a great grandma. Um, they're heading out on vacation right the day after we land. So we get to do all of our hugs and everything like that um, on Friday when we land, possibly a little bit on Saturday before they take off. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to see everybody. Um, what else would I did I want to tell you? Um, designer series paper is on sale, 15% off until um, the 31st. So if you're a paper hoarder, like most of us are, now is the time to get you an extra set of paper so you can love it, chop it. That's um, a Kylie Bertucci thing, but I have found that if you have two packs of paper, you can chop one all up and you're going to use it. And it's a baby step going through um, getting you ready to actually use your DSP. I have boxes and boxes of DSP. Just saying. Um, so that's going on until October 31st. And if you're a demonstrator, it's... Um, the pre-order of the Curvy Celebrations that I've been featuring the last video and I'm going to feature it again in this video. Way too many possibilities and I don't want to make my videos too long because 
I could be crafting all day. Um, but we are, we are going to be doing the Kirby celebration again today. And did I even finish my thought? It's like squirrel. Anyway, next week is going to be a taped, um, it's not going to be live. It's going to be taped. And the following Friday will also be taped. So I wanted to let you know that. Um, yeah. So back to the curvy Christmas, um, or curvy keeps it curvy celebration. Um, it will go live to customers on November 3rd, uh, for pre-order November 3rd through January 4th. That's the only time you'll get the Christmas part of it. This is a limited edition. The rest of it is um, a pre-order to the new mini catalog coming out after the first of the year. So if you want to get in on, on that and the dies, you're going to want to... Um, things sell out fast, and then they go on back order. So, um, yeah. I would jump on it if it's something that you're really loving. I'm having a great time with it. Possibilities are endless. Um, and I'm going to show you three more possibilities. Uh, and then uh, you could see for yourself how much fun it is. Oh, there was something else I wanted to tell you about. In the mini catalog, they brought back this kit. Um, last year I did a class and we tried to actually make it from scratch. The class went on into the evening and it was very frustrating. So the kit is, um, it's a project kit. Well, where is it? It's just showing it. Anyway, um, there it is. It's on page six of the mini catalog. And the stamp set that coordinates with this did not come back this year. So you can use a stamp set that um, of your choice or you can just not stamp the few little things that they suggest stamping. Um, Vicki Rako and I got together uh, Wednesday and we did ours. This is the um, some of the fronts that go on there. You can see it in the catalog and they have the numbers for it and everything. We kind of took off on our own because that's what we do. And um, I use some retire because like I said, I've got boxes of DSP. So I did some retired. I haven't put my numbers on there yet, but Reiko with her cute little scan and cut machine was, and I'm not going to turn these all around. It's going to take forever. Was able to program it to, um, cut a bunch of these out, which you can hand cut and use a circle punch and make your own out of any DSP. And again, I used <laughs> retired DSP to um, do the other side. Now you can do Halloween or um, Day of the Dead. I can't say it in in Spanish or, or whatever. Day of the Dead. Oh, I don't know. And and I don't want to disrespect anybody. I promise. It's just I don't. I don't speak, <laughs> I barely speak English. I am, I'm turning them all around because I keep talking and I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn them all around and show you. I didn't do Halloween, but you can use this as a little knickknack, whatever folder thing year round and do whatever you want to on the other side. Give it as a gift and people can use it all the time. But this is what's on my backside. On my, that didn't sound, that's not what I meant. <laughs> this is the reverse. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to get myself into trouble. But that's the reverse of of this kit. You, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. I just wanted to point that out because we had a really good time um, since we're allowed to have three people together in California now. <laughs> so... We, the three of us, got together and um, put ours together. Um, Vicki and Reiko did a totally different pattern on theirs and everything. And anyway, I just wanted to show you because it can be a lot of fun, but the stamp set is not available. So you can, um, I don't know, dashing deer if you want to or um, any, any number of them. And, and these don't really need to be stamped. They're very colorful. And I just dropped something. Okay. Peekaboo. Yeah, I dropped something. So there's that. I just wanted to tell y'all about that. I, I thought it was a lot of fun. And um, so, y'all ready to get crafty? Let me see if I can find myself on my computer because I've just been talking on the little screen and I haven't seen me. Um... And you know how I was saying that I was going to miss my husband because he went back to work? <laughs> well, they have, um, have him put in for his vacation time, like almost, yay, almost, uh, um, well now about a year in advance, but they'd like him to get their vacation in and as soon as possible and um so before covid he he did all of his vacation time through through october and then covid and then um then he um got injured and he was home for three weeks and he just went back to work well guess what one of his vacation times was today so here I'm being sad that I'm going to be missing my sweetie, and he's home today. <laughs> Anyways, I found myself on, on my big screen, and um, I want to say hello now that I can see everybody. I would like to um, say hello, everybody. Um, Vicki, Suzanne, Jonas, um, and I think... Well, there's a couple more people on here. Hi, Lynn. So, everybody, let's get crafty. Come on, switch around. You don't want to look at the palm of my hand. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I think I might have turned this up backwards. That's okay. We're going to make it happen. Captain. Okay. So let me sit down here and, and get to moving. So the um, Stampin' Up! puts out some examples, and I think we're still kind of a little weird, wonky looking. Ugh. How's that, people? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. That wasn't nice. Um, anyway, there, they have samples that they put out of, of things you can do. And a lot of times I look to every, a lot of other people, YouTube, Stampin' Up! for inspiration on how to do things. Well, one of their samples is something similar to this. This is my version of it because I'm always, I can't copy even if I want to, I can't copy. It always ends up different. So we're going to do something similar to this today using the um, Curvy Bundle. Um, I've already cut the DSP with, with this die and this die. 
and you have to remember the ridge part is where it actually cuts the paper so this one is so it goes down and it's going to cut off the top you can't make this go up unless if you cut it again and turn it around I tried my brain can't work around that and then this one it's got the ridge where it's going to cut the paper so this is the opposite side of that so I'm going to turn it over like this um, this is just like scrap and it doesn't really need to be that big so I can use it again for something else so let's see if I have this the way I want it so you just cut some any way you want to and then decide how how you want it to fit actually so now that I moved everything around I'm not sure how I really want it to fit I think I had this one on the bottom and then this one and that one and that one I think is the way I like it what do y'all think and then this is going to be the background of it I'm gonna go with the cherry cobbler mat and the shaded spruce for the card base so you just kind of do like this super simple if I want to put another layer I certainly can this way or this way either one I think a bird just hit my window so what I'm going to do is to just put a little adhesive liquid because that's what I like. I like having my wiggle room. And I think I'm going to want this to go like this. Uh-oh, where's my silicone mat? I'm going to make a mess. So I'm going to put that on there. And I want to go green, red, green, red. So... I think this can go like that. So I'm just going to run a little thing of glue here. Don't be afraid to use your DSP up. <laughs> Don't be like me. And then I'm going to put mm, yeah I think I'm going to put it like that oh I almost tried to take the lid off alrighty I know it looks like a mess, right? Should I do another one? What do you think? I think I can. I think I will. Why not, right? Oh. <laughs> that's buddy dreaming he's kicking his foot out against my slidey closet door okay so 
This is kind of thin DSP, so it's going to be very easy to cut. And I'd like all this to be um, uniform. If you have a guillotine, it's really good. I, I love this. It cuts through all the layers. If you're fortunate enough to have one. Am I mumbling? I feel like I'm mumbling. Okay. There. Nice clean cut. Unfortunately, it doesn't... Um, well, I do need it four inches. If you need it more than four inches, you kind of got to... It doesn't work very well. But for the four inches, and I like to do it this way. There's the four inches. And I think I'm going to take off the bottom part, too. I'm going to leave a tiny bit. What do you think? Just a little bit. Like that. I think that's good. Yes, I make a mess. So, there's that piece. Get this out of the way. And I'm going to want this to be... Four. By five and a quarter. This can go on the inside of your card or you can use it on your envelope for decoration. And then I have my cherry cobbler mat at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. One, two, yes, five and three eighths. So I get the little red. And if you want to, you can even cut this shorter because it's gonna be covered, but I do the whole thing. And then my card base, eight and a half by 11, cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And now it's just layering this stuff. You could even do the stars if you wanted to. But I like these. Um, get my glue back in here. I was so grateful I was putting a card together and I thought I had it finished. I put it up and my top mat moved. And when my husband came home, I was so proud of the card. I want him to see it. I always show him my cards that I make during the day and um, it shifted. And I was so happy that all I did was put the glue around here. I was able to get it un stuck and um, fix my card because it was like you know you want the little rim here it was like that and the bottom wasn't showing it was <gasps> I was like oh no my whole cards ruined but I fixed it so many so many possibilities so now we have this super simple card. I like to put a little on the tip there because that could get snagged and lift up and you don't want that to happen. Audra's here. Hi, Audra. She's my up, up line. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in so long. I miss you. I think I saw Holly on here. I think Holly moved to Arizona. I haven't seen her in the longest, longest time either. Okay. 
So, now we're going to make this bow. And to make this bow, um, I am going to, if you notice, it's got um, the cherry cobbler, but it's a little, I don't know if it shows how shiny it is. So what I do is I heat emboss it in the cherry cobbler. Um, here's my heat tool. I didn't plug my phone in. I hope it doesn't die. Hold on, peeps. I'm going to plug my phone in just to make sure. I hope it doesn't make a static. No, I'm at 77% anyway. Okay, so I have clear heat emboss, which I have in a sandwich container because it works best for me. Stampin' Up! doesn't um, sell the emboss buddy. You can get them probably at any craft store. You can use a static clean sheet. You can use some talcum powder or something like that. So I like to get all of my stuff ready. I'm going to move my card out of the way. I only have a little workspace here. And it seems like everything starts going. Oh, look, we have a buddy hair. That's not unusual. But we're going to take it out. <laughs> okay. So I have cherry cobbler. I have a piece of cherry cobbler. I have my extra fingers. Here's the bow. Versamark, my clear embossing powder. So, this is not going to hurt your ink. So, you do the Versamark first, otherwise, you're going to get your ink in the Versamark. You don't want to do that. So, you get your Versamark on here first. You can see I have embossing powder all over it. I try to avoid that, <laughs> it doesn't always work. And now I have my cherry cobbler ink on here and I am going to oh I didn't use my pierce my paper piercing mat you should always use it to get a really crisp but it worked it gives and it's right here too it gives it a little cush for your um, photopolymer stamps And now I will generously, I like to tap it. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just in my mind that it goes in really well when you tap it. Get off the excess. Close this up so it doesn't go anywhere. And um, remove the buddy hairs because you don't want them embossed into anything. <laughs> I tell you can't go anywhere without my baby boy. Close that up. I'm going to heat my um, heat tool up real quick. And while I'm heating it up, I'm going to clean my stamp. So... Ready for the magic? So when you heat emboss tone on tone, it always makes the ink darker and shiny. And there is that. The only, the only thing missing in this kit is a die for the bow. But if I cannot shake, because that's what I do on camera, is shake. 
it's really not that hard to fussy cut unless you're on camera and then everything is a little bit more of a challenge right typically when you fussy cut you leave a small um, ridge around and you um, move the paper more than you actually move the scissors. Yeah. Almost. There you go. Good job, Gail. Then, this is a new, um, a new one. A new one. What is that? Winkostella. That's what that's called. And what is Christmas without a little sparkle, right? I hate being, <laughs> I am a little persnickety. I got to get this little, <laughs> that little piece off of there. <laughs> it bugs me. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And now I already cut the sprigs which there is a um there is the die for that one that's not that's not an issue uh, i do want to sparkle them a little bit the wink of stella does um darken it but it dries and then it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't stay dark. It just stays sparkly. So this is um, a limited, not this die, but the um, Christmas part of this set is limited edition. I think I already said it. So um, do a dry fit here. So it will only be available for a short time. I think I like that. A little. So I want this to be the middle one. So I'm going to put it down a little bit more. So I'm just putting a little glue on it and then I'm moving it around on there. You could wait for it to dry a little bit and then it won't uh, it won't ooze out so much. But the bow is going to go over top of it so I'm not too worried about it. 
And if you want to, you could, of course, adhere that part down. If it bothers you, you can just like, you know, go all. Or too much. There. Ta -da. Oh, stay down. There. And that one's going to stay up. And then we will. Where are my sticky scissors? Here they are. I uh, I could use the mini dimensionals for this. That would work fine. And I probably sh no. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on both sides so that it straddles the um, sprigs. That's what I'm calling them because I can't think of another name for them. Sprigs. And goes right over the top. Then we need a little blinga blinga, right? These are the holiday rhinestones that carried over from last year. This this is the first year they carried over things from last year, and I am so glad that they did. And some little ones. What, 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 here, 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 here. And there you have it. What do you think? Is that it's not done and I and I forgot to put the stamp on it like I did with this one I was going to put that on there but I went higher so what do we have we're gonna do this one that's what we're gonna do Because, oops, we don't want to do it upside down. Because my, um, I picked out May your days be merry and bright. But it's not going to fit. This one will. And, um, again, I will heat emboss it to make it stand out better. Get all my pieces and parts. The clear embossing powder, if it sticks where you don't want it, it's not that big a deal because it just makes shiny spots, and that's okay if you want, you know, it's Christmas. You could have shiny spots all over. But you definitely want to anti-static um, your gold and silver and, and um, that because, oop, close things up. Let's not get this everywhere. Um, sometimes it's unsightly to have the extra sparkle, right? And then, like I said, oh, upside down. Like I said, this um, is going to make the cherry cobbler darker and stand out a little more. And so while that's heating up,
And Bob's your uncle. Warped a little bit. So there you go. And you can, you know, all these other little things you can put on the inside for that. So this, I really like this. This is so versatile. Um, but we are, and here's the first one. And I think, yep. Inside's naked. Sorry. But I do want to show you something else that's just really, really cute. Um, oh, hi, Sharon. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, doggy hair everywhere. My, um, my thing's not scrolling, so I'm not getting... Um, a lot of your your comments okay so I'm gonna save what I think is the best one for last I thought this one was super cute and this can be a Christmas card you could do a Christmas in here or you can use this for any occasion hooray for you it's got the um, let me think what Saharas, no. Copper foil. Here, and this is um, cinnamon cider paper. And I just randomly stamped the trees, which you could actually heat emboss the trees also. And then I heat embossed the stars, which are these two, in gold. And there's that. A little um, tip. What I did with this is copper. It, the foil paper is a little bit pricey. Um, not too pricey, but you don't need to waste it. So I cut a piece of the foil paper and then I cut the center out of it. And then I laid this mat on top. So you could save, save your paper. And this could be, like I said, this could be, hooray for you could be anything. I, that's such a great generic have on hand stamp for, you know, and then you could just write whatever you need. Occasion. Really neat. Now this one. I just really love this one. I'm really proud of this one. Um, I shall explain how this one is made so I took a piece of mossy meadow and I used this die which only cuts out the um, the leaves but when it cuts out the leaves it embosses the little swirlies in it and it also if I can it also embosses, oops, there. It also, if you can see that, it embosses each little leaf. So I saved the leaves when I did that. And then I ran this through the um, embossing folder, Subtle's embossing folder. Again, this is um, cinnamon cider and mossy meadow. And the card base is um, Early Espresso. So then I took this and I cut it out of the brushed metallic. I think this one is uh, bronze. Did I make notes of it? I probably didn't make notes of it. Um, 
I didn't make a note of what color this is, sorry. And then I did in the green. And then I did in the gold. So this must be copper and gold and green. And now, see, I can use this on a card. Well, this one not so much because I'd already punched those things out. And I can use this on a card if I want to. And then I took all the little leaves that I cut out from there. And some of them I inlaid into the holes. Some of them I laid on top. And some of them I put little tiny pieces of dimensionals underneath of them. But I also took my Stampin' Write marker, Garden Green Stampin' Write marker, and I traced the swirlies, the vine. Uh, I added a couple here and there also. And then I got nervous about messing everything up, but... So the cinnamon cider is showing through and all of the little leaves are embossed. And then the birds from the stamp set, I, uh, I used the Stampin' Blends. I did heat emboss this with the green. And so, yeah, so there's that. And I really like it. These are the Christmas gems so this is the last video of curvy celebrations i will be sharing for now next week will be the peony set suite i already have five cards made and um, I think World of Good is going to be the following Friday. So, there you go. Yeah, this one takes a little time to do, but I think it's well worth it. I think it's a very special card. This is a quick one. You can get this out to somebody quickly. And I will be putting my um, Facebook video on my YouTube channel. I, I figured that out and I also figured out how to get it on my blog. If you're here already and watching it with me, I don't think you need to watch the replay unless if you want to watch the technique again, but I just wanted to let everybody know that I will be sharing all of this on other social media. And let me turn, thank you. Let me turn y'all back around if I can do this. Switch, 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 switch. And up we go. Stay. But he's stretched over there. Stay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Okay. <sighs> So, um, I, I hope you enjoyed my cards. I enjoyed making them. They were a, a lot of fun. I feel like I'm so close into the, into the camera. <laughs> Got it back up a little bit. Um, but thank you for stopping by. I am an independent demonstrator in the U.S. If uh, you don't already have a demonstrator, you're very welcome, Suzanne. Um, if you don't already have a demonstrator and you need a catalog or need any more information about Stampin' Up, holler at me, leave me a message here um, or on my blog, which is uh, www.smallcraftswithgaleforce, or you can find me by my name, Gail Craighead. And I'd be glad to get you a catalog or answer any questions that you may have. And thank you guys for stopping by. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And remember, stay crafty, my friends. Love y'all. Thanks. <laughs>